He's not here. We're getting married today. No, Greenlee. You're not. You were in an accident. You've been asleep for a very long time. How long? Almost a year. No. It's not possible. Ryan must be so worried. You have to call him. You have to tell him I'm awake. I can't do that. David, please. Greenlee, listen to me. Ryan thinks you're dead. I, I don't understand. How could he think that? It's not just Ryan. Everyone thinks you died the night of the accident. Why? Because I let them think that. A year? I've been gone a year. And you've let everyone think I was dead? All right. Try, try to remain calm, okay? Please, let me explain what happened. No, no, I won't worry. Greenlee, Greenlee, listen to me. You almost died. You drove off the road and you crashed into an icy river. I found you. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell everyone? Everyone had already accepted the conclusion that you had died. And before I told them the truth, I needed to speak with you first. But then you kept going in and out of consciousness. And then you got much worse. I believed you were going to die. Everyone had moved on, Greenlee. They already had a memorial service for you. But I was alive. And you let them think that I was dead? I'm not a heartless bastard. Until I knew that you had survived, it would have been cruel for me to let everyone go through that all over again. But I did die. And it's been a year. Yes, but a year with no progress. I almost lost you on a number of occasions. I started you on an experimental drug regimen, one that I had researched for many years, one that I never would have been allowed to use in a regular hospital. I took you here to Gloucester and kept you hidden away. Greenlee, I saved your life the way I couldn't save Leo's or my daughter's. And now all this time. Oh my God. I have to try. I have Greenlee, to Greenlee, no, don't. You had some tiny bone fragments in your spine from the accident. We did everything we could to relieve the pressure, but there was a lot of scarring. The bottom line is a neurosurgeon needs to get in there, take care of the scarring, and reattach the spine using an experimental stem cell breakthrough. But Greenlee, the procedure is very risky, especially for someone who's still recovering as you are. Isn't there someone in Pine Valley who could do it? No. No, I've been in discussions with a surgeon who's currently working out of Sweden. When the time is right, I want him to come here to perform the surgery. But I wanted to make sure that you were awake and cognizant first, so you and I can discuss the implications. You mean, like, I'll be paralyzed for life? Greenlee, the surgery could kill you. Well, now that you're awake, it's your decision to make. 
Or you can call Ryan right now and discuss it with him. But there's a chance that I could die on that. Again. Yeah. I couldn't do that to him. To walk back into his life just to leave again. Or you can call him right now. And forget all about the surgery. But never walk again. As I said, it's not my call to make anymore. That's entirely your decision. Have you called Ryan? I can't go back to him like this. I've been lying here thinking about what it would be like. How our lives would never be like they were before. No wild bike rides, no walks on the beach looking up at the moon. Certainly no walk down the aisle. And then to ask him to take this gamble with me on a surgery that might kill me, it just, it wouldn't be fair. If I go back to him, I want it to be as the person I was before. Not like this. Call that surgeon. Cure me, David. Please. But if you can't, if I don't make it, I want you to promise me that you'll never tell anyone I survived this at all. You do that. I'll do anything you want. You do know, Green Lee, that even if you do survive the surgery, even if you're able to walk into Ryan's life, it might not be the same. Look at that moon. It's shining just as bright here as it is in Pine Valley. And even when we can't see it, when it's hidden by clouds or in Earth's shadow, it's still there. It never changes. Just like Ryan's love for me. It'll always be there. People do move on, Greenlee. Ryan hasn't. He tried once before and it didn't work. <laughs> he can't let go. He never will. Just like the moon. Just like Pine Valley. It'll never change.